Yo, Elliot. Hey, what's up, guys? Today we got a question from our Strength Camp Online member, Tom, who goes on to say that he has a hard time being aggressive, especially with other men. He explains how at school that there are other boys who step up and they're really aggressive and they can really go after him in particular. And, uh, and he wants to know, how can I be aggressive too? How is it that they feel okay in their bodies being this way towards others and I shrink and shrivel? They come at him, he shrinks and shrivels. In fact, he says that he tried uh, uh, boxing, kickboxing, and he says, I get so freaked out in competition that I just puke and pass out. He can't bring himself to, uh, to that type of aggression where he can really go out and lash out. He even makes reference to some of the, my videos where I describe how when I was you know, a kid, I would get into fights and stuff and I'd go, I'd go attack people. I think what needs to be understood is that there is a distinction between aggression. You got to understand what aggression is. It, aggression is merely the opposite of regression, right? Aggress is to move forward, regress is to move backward. So any, any activity that's associated with moving forward is aggressive, right? So I mean, you, you are being aggressive, right? Every time you, you get out of bed, you walk to the refrigerator and put something in your, in your mouth, you're aggressing, you're moving towards something that you want. Right? And assertiveness. Now, the difference between being aggressive, going out, and being assertive, assertive means knowing what you want and setting up boundaries. Right? So being assertive means this is what I'll stand for, this is what I expect, this is what I, uh, I, I believe in, and these are the boundaries associated with it. You see? So I'm not th I don't think you need to be any more aggressive, meaning you know, you've got just the right amount of aggression in you to get what you need in life, right? You can get out of bed, you can go to the refrigerator, you're at school, you can study, you can, you, can, uh, you can work out in the gym. These are all moving towards activities. You can set a goal and you can achieve it. But being assertive with other people is going to be very important. So what you're going to have to make, and, and it requires quite a bit of communication. What it will require is that you are clear about what you hold valuable, meaning what you will and won't stand for, and where those boundaries are. I'm doing this, you can't see this, right? This is, this is assertiveness. Assertiveness is saying, I'm here and here's my boundary. This is what I'm about and these are the walls by which you shall not cross. It has nothing to do with attacking anybody. It has everything to do with standing your ground. And when you have these muscle knuckleheads, I don't want to say muscle heads because I'm a muscle head. These knuckleheads, right, that for whatever reason they feel like they want to pick on you, they want to aggress themselves towards you, you got to understand too that they've got their own problems. What you've got to do is make it very clear where your boundaries are. You might not want to fight and you might want to make it very clear to them that I'm not going to fight you. I have no interest in fighting you, but if you cross this boundary, I will make your life miserable. Do you understand? So if he wants to aggress himself towards you and you set up that boundary and he still disrespects that boundary, well then you make it very clear what you're going to do. You come, any, you come one step closer, and I'll bite the shit out of you, right? I mean, no, how can you defend a, a bite, right? I mean, you do what you have to fucking do to make sure that boundary is not crossed. Let him know. You cross this boundary, I promise. You might kick my ass, but you're gonna hurt, right? Get him later. Tell him too, it's not sneaky when you tell him. You cross that boundary, and you come one step closer to me, I'm going to grab your computer and throw it out the window. I'm going to slash all your tires. You see? I'm going to have sex with your girlfriend. Right? He'd really love that, then he'll really fucking attack you. So, set up boundaries, make it very clear where those boundaries are and what will happen if they're crossed and hold them to it. Go ahead, come on. I think the movie is um, uh, Shawshank Redemption where the, the, the guy is in jail, you know, he's kind of like, a, he's, a, he's a softer, feminine kind of guy, and uh, you know, there's a bunch of thugs in there, and um, one of the things they were gonna make him do was give him a blowjob. By the way, this is my new neighbor, he makes no sense. So one of the things that the, uh, you know, the thugs that were in the jail were gonna make him do because he was kind of a passive guy, was give him a blowjob. And uh, 
And he said that, well, okay, if you make me do this, I guarantee you that your life will be miserable because I will bite your dick off. Something to that effect. He was like, yes, I'll do it. Go ahead, make me, force me. But you'll lose your dick. So tell those boys, come at me, motherfucker. Please do. Cross this boundary so that you can lose your dick. Done. Elliot said, Elliot. what?